Hey everyone, in this video we're going to be talking about what is the octet rule. The octet rule in chemistry is a common trend shared by most atoms in our 1a to 7a groups, which are these columns on our periodic table. The octet rule means that the atoms almost all want to react in a way that will give them a valence shell of 8 electrons. Our atom's valence shell is the outermost shell of the atom that contains the valence electrons. Oct simply means 8, so that should help you remember how many electrons you are looking to put in the atom's valence shell, which we talked about briefly in the previous video. You can also use the group number in the periodic table to help you quickly remember how many valence electrons each group's element has. This group number at the top actually gives the number of valence electrons each element has. For example, oxygen is in group 6a and therefore has 6 valence electrons. So, we know that atoms that follow the octet rule want to react in such a way that they will have 8 electrons in their valence shell. As we know, the noble gases are very stable, since they are the only group with 8 valence electrons, meaning they are non-reactive as an element can get. They do not want to give or receive any more electrons, and this is a state that all the other atoms in groups 1 to 7a are trying to achieve with the octet rule. But why do we need to learn about the octet rule? Well, the octet rule is an important trend for drawing Lewis structures, which will be the topic of our next video. Essentially, the octet rule helps us understand in what ways our atoms will react with one another when making a compound. This helps us predict what our products will be when the two atoms react together. For example, let's take a look at table salt. It is one sodium atom reacted with one chloride atom. Sodium is number 13 on our periodic table whereas chloride is number 17 on our periodic table. Atoms in almost everything in our universe is always looking to return to a more stable state. That is why hot stuff cools off, why air will fill a vacuum, and why atoms will react with one another. Both our sodium and our chloride atoms would prefer to have a full octet, meaning 8 electrons. Therefore, the chloride will take the sodium spare electron so that both atoms can now have 8 valence electrons. This leaves chloride with a negative charge, as it now has an extra electron, and leaves sodium with a positive charge, as it now has one less electron. Because these two atoms now have equal but opposite charges, they are attracted to each other, and will stick near each other, creating what we call an ionic bond. Which is a bond in which they are attracted to each other due to the charge difference. Let's also talk about our smaller atoms, as I feel it is important. As we stated earlier, atoms will form reactions in an attempt to get to their closest noble gas. So, for atoms like hydrogen, it will not gain a ton of electrons to make an octet. It will simply gain one electron to have a filled one orbital of two electrons. However, what about atoms like lithium? Well, similar to hydrogen, lithium will also lose an electron, and it will not follow the octet rule. So, just be cautious and think about what is the simplest and obvious way to stabilize an atom. Just note that there are some exceptions to this rule, and we will talk about these more in future videos. However, quickly, some common exceptions include aluminum, only using 6 valence electrons, not 8, and some other atoms like sulfur that can expand their octet and thus have more than 8 valence electrons. But don't worry about that too much right now. If you enjoyed, please like, subscribe, and consider checking out our YouTube memberships by clicking that join button down below. However, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns about the information I provided in this video, please leave a comment down below and I will do my best to address your concerns.